Thank you, Paula. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to go over the legal framework of advertising of food in Brazil very quickly and show you some examples. Uh, we have three pieces of legislation that apply to food advertising. The, the Self-Regulation Code, also known as CONAR, the Consumer Protection Code, and the Brazilian <laughs> FDA Resolution uh, 24. And VISA is the name of our FDA. So the CONAR has exhibits attached to the code. One for alcohol, one for tobacco, tobacco, tobacco and exhibit H uh, refers to food and non-alcoholic beverages. So it has some principles that should be followed in the commercials of, of food, and it, as you can see on the screen. Uh, it should uh, emphasize the physical exercises, not uh, encourage excessive consum consumption, and so on. <coughs> it also uh, addresses uh, quality, caloric value, and, and nature. The UNVISA resolution number 24 also refers to, to fat, uh, sodium, uh, and, and, and other contents of the food. And it, it states that it should be uh, truthful and direct and clear to the public. And when it, when it refers to children, it says that stipulations uh, of that kind have to be mandatory. When, when children is the main public. Uh, we also have a, a consumer protection code. Uh, f we've had it for 26, 26 years. And uh, it uh, prohibits abusive uh, and uh, confusing and uh, disguising advertising. So let's go to the practical cases because the, the framework is similar throughout Latin America. We have uh, the first case uh, which was a complaint filed ex officio by CONAR upon request of, of consumers uh, of the diet shake that uh, Nutri Latina uh, was uh, advertising and suggesting that people should uh, replace two meals a day by their, uh, per their shake and guarantees that they would lose approximately nine pounds in less than a month. So as you, as you can see, it's a very very uh, misleading ad and it was uh, banned by CONAR and this this is the uh, the video how do, how do I do that so we don't have the video but uh, it showed a very slim woman in her underwear uh, saying that she lost about nine pounds in half less than a month the second case is the Conar versus Nestlé and Publicis, Nestlé's agency in Brazil, uh, about the, um, the Nino. Nino is a local brand, the leading um, uh, powder milk brand in Brazil. And Nestlé uh, used the expression zero lactose on the packaging. And also on, on the back of the, of the can, it says that it's a lactose compound product. So there's a contradiction there. And uh, Conar ordered Nestlé to change the label. No video. And this is the most important case, very recent one. Conar versus Pandurata, the manufacturer of, of those chocolate cookies. Uh, there was a promotion <coughs> aired on TV and, and on, on printed media. Um, where the kids would buy <coughs> several packages of, of that cookie and save the, the package. And with five packages and five reais, the local currency, they would get a Shrek watch. So, uh, Conar ex officio again filed a complaint against uh, Pandurata and found that it's, uh, uh, it's a tie-in uh, promotion and it uh, gives incentive to high consumption of, of sugar and fat and ban the commercial. We don't have it, sorry. And then after Conar published its decision, 
the public prosecutor office of the state of Sao Paulo filed a, a public civil action against the advertiser. And the, the lawsuit was dismissed by the lower court, but it, the decision was reversed by the appellate court. And Baldoco appealed to the Superior Court of Justice in Brasilia, and the Superior Court of Justice sustained the appellate court's decision. And it's, it's a leading case, a very uh, dangerous one, because some people understand it's, it's banning advertising of food to children in Brazil. Uh, the full text of the decision has not been published yet, so we, I don't have an opinion on it. I have to read the whole decision. But the, the justice, the reporting justice, stated that uh, this decision would be a change of scenario to the food industry once it will no longer be accepted. In any case, food advertisement directed to children. And, and <coughs> furthermore, this is not a stifling paternalism or extreme moralism. It's the opposite. It's simply a recognition that only the parents have the authority to decide about their children's diet. So we have th the industry has to uh, uh, wait for the publication of the entire decision and, and decide what to do. I, I mentioned last year that, uh, that the Ministry of Justice issued a resolution, a conduct Guanama resolution uh, banning advertising to children in Brazil. The industry uh, met in Sao Paulo, several players, you know, toys, food, uh, clothing, they met in, in Sao Paulo and decided not to, uh, to uh, comply with that resolution and they are challenging the constitutionality of that resolution in court. So uh, the other two cases which had no videos are uh, old ones, but very f famous ones. They're they are cited in any presentation about advertising to children. First one was the Buy Baton. Baton is lipstick in Portuguese. Uh, and that was a brand of a chocolate bar. And the, the little girl would hypnotize the, the audience, saying, Buy Baton, Buy Baton, <laughs> and many times. And it was, it was banned at that time. And the other one was the Danone uh, yogurt in which a, a choir of children sang a song that repeated the, the expression, give me Danoninho, Danoninho being little Danone, right? The diminutive, give me Danone, give me Danone. Well, with another tone, not, not this one. Uh, that, that was also, the, I, I don't remember the, the melody, but so both were children, uh, uh, ordering their parents to buy food. Uh, well, that's, that was it about Brazil. Thank you, Almir.